What's happening guys? This is Nat and welcome back to another video. Now, since the last video, we were talking about gold versus BTC, old money versus new money, and we were talking about the all-time highs BTC had just hit. Breaking news, and that's why I'm making this video. BTC has now made new highs in the market, but there's something that's a lot more important going on, and I'm explaining in this video. What if I told you that BTC has just become the ninth largest asset in the world? That's right. BTC has a total market cap of 1.4 trillion and silver was at 1.38 trillion which means it's actually beat silver now silver as we know it's a precious metal it's been a precious metal for hundreds of years not as precious as gold but again it's been a household name as an investment and again just to show you how big BTC is, the total market cap is 2.5 trillion in the whole crypto market and BTC is now 53%. I've got my family calling, I've got my friends calling, I've got my neighbors calling me saying, what's happening, where's BTC going? And again, just to actually show you a website in a minute, which this website's essential, I, me and my team use it all the time. It shows you the total uh, global market caps of everything that you need to worry about and now you're going to see in the chart in a minute that it's actually overtaken silver and again if it keeps on going guys you want to see a prediction of where BTC is going to go this is the website that you need to use and this is the website that I use so whether you're a new investor you're already a part of the market so you simply lost about what to do next is it too late into BTC shall I start selling no should you buy right now well let's find out I'll show the website right now let's go Right guys, let's get straight into it again. Since I told you our website that me myself personally and my team have been using for so many years This website again, I'm gonna tell you the name of it right now It's called companies market cap Dot com and you go on there make sure you include crypto in there as well again if you guys don't find the link properly make sure you go onto my telegram which is the link is in the bio and i'll give you the official link in the telegram it's free make sure you join it so as you guys can see up here gold <laughs> well gold again this is the biggest asset most valuable asset in the world and just look at the market market cap it's 14 trillion and if you actually add up all 10 or maybe more of the other rankings then add the total market cap together of course it will not be 14 trillion and that's why in the last youtube video i actually made a purpose point talking about old money versus new money which you should definitely go watch now as you can see microsoft huge company second apple third we've got a microchip company which is actually number four now i've actually been taiwan and a lot of people actually don't know this but the taiwan china kind of uh, war which has basically been on gone going is because of a microchip company which is number four five Aram aramco which have actually been saudi before as well again huge oil company amazon google google how long has everybody been watching this that's before chat gbt before siri has used google to google everything and now What's number eight is BTC. And as you guys can see, as I was mentioning, it's actually now beat silver. And the time of actually recording this, silver was actually a little bit higher, which means it's dropping literally live. This is live market. And again, if I were to go down even further, let's just talk about uh, Berkshire Hathaway, which is again, Warren Buffett's company, which again, won the world's most famous, successful um, business people and investors. Bitcoin is number eight, guys. So again, a lot of people can use this as a statistic to see will it ever actually beat Google? And then again, you're gonna see that target of 100,000 on BTC possibly being hit. I'm not sitting here and saying it's gonna be hit soon, but again, I'm gonna flick to the BTC chart in a minute and show you the bullish run that it's on. Again, I make this video for everybody to understand on all different experience levels. That's why this website is very, very important. It actually shows you, you know, overall the last 30 days. And as you guys can see, Bitcoin is absolutely smashing it. Right, let's break down again. This video is based on Bitcoin actually outperforming as a global asset over silver. So let's go into silver. And again, for any silver traders out there, you know, that actually I mean, it might be actually a physical silver trader or a digital silver trader. I'll be going into a little bit more about the history just for the next two, three minutes before I hop onto BTC. Again, that's what everyone's talking about. But guys, this is B this is silver on a monthly time frame. And again, if you're looking at this and you're brand new to trading, you're probably thinking, okay, 
what was this bullish run about? This bullish run was actually based on recession, was based on fear. Again, similar to how people invest in precious metals, this was similar to silver, and that's why we had this massive bullish run all the way up to $48. Since then, of course, we had a huge decline, and again, when we talk about consolidation periods, guys, it was basically consolidating for the best part of eight or nine years sideways. And then again, it again, I had a key level drawn on here at $21. And you can see why, because of the previous um, levels that I had a hard time breaking, very, very important key level. And actually broke above this based on COVID. What's COVID? Again, another global fear event in the world. We had recession, which is this move. Then we have COVID, which is this move. But again, guess what? Five years still going sideways at $22. So again, not the most exciting thing to be trading after nine years and then five years. And then again, I've actually drew on where again, if it was to actually go ahead and go back to previous levels, or if not higher of $44 on silver, why would it do that? Well, if you look at the world right now, UK, Germany gone into recession. Again, if we see a, another, maybe a global recession, there's a lot of geopolitical problems right now going on in the world, but this will probably be one of the only things that I personally think that will drive silver going back into a bullish mode and possibly, possibly I'll say, reaching those all time highs again. So that's silver, you know, again, quite flat. And again, I've explained the driving factors that actually move silver. Now let's hop onto BTC, shall we? So I've already gone through BTC in my last video, but for again, anybody that actually missed the last video, I'll go through BTC right now. Well, firstly, um, for those that actually don't know, you know, talking about, you know, recessions and stuff like that, BTC was actually, BTC was actually created after the 2008, you know, recession. You know, this was actually one of the reasons that Bitcoin was actually created. And as you can see, we've already mentioned it before, we've had, you know, all time highs once at 64,000. Then we've had it at 68,000. And then at the moment of making my last video, it was actually trading where I've actually got this nice little red circle here at 68,000. This was just four or five days ago I made this video. And again, now it's cropped up even higher. Now, in case you actually don't know this, I want everyone to know this, February, Feb listen to this very carefully. February was the largest bullish month in Bitcoin history in history. So if you're watching this video and you're thinking, okay, I'm not too sure, I'm not too sure. Largest bullish month in Bitcoin history was February. Now, again, going back to that, that you know, that theme, new money. Would you rather trade in silver where it actually hasn't moved nine years, five years going sideways? And then you look at this chart and BTC and you're seeing a lot of opportunities, guys. You know, there was a lot of speculation. You know, I've been around the market for 15 years now. Could you ever actually use BTC to buy anything other than a pizza? Now you can actually buy houses in Dubai. You can buy cars in Dubai. You can buy cars in the UK. I've even seen an article, which one of my friends is a huge property owner in actually London, central London. Um, it's actually newly announced that there is actually a person. It's not me actually, but is actually renting an apartment for 48,000 pound a week paying in cryptocurrency. This is now how well adopted BTC has become. And again, going back to this chart right now, you know, it's number eight guys, number eight, just behind Google. So this is kind of like, you know, a breakdown of silver. This is a breakdown of BTC. Where do I think it's going? If you would watch my last video, I told you do not try and go against the market. Right now we are on a bullish run. We would need to see the rally possibly, and what for anyone that doesn't know a rally is guys, it cannot continue to push higher. We cannot make any predictions. I know a lot of people try and jump on the bandwagon. Sometimes it's nice if you've already entered again, I told you I've got a much lower price on BTC, but we have to wait to see if the market might consolidate for a while. Will we get some pullback? Again, the last video I mentioned the target of 100,000, we're already at 71,000 guys. So again, it just, you know, use your, use your common sense. Look at how well adopted it is worldwide, becoming the eighth biggest asset in the world, in the world, and how 
everything around you, whether you're watching this video for the first time, everything is now about BTC. You can't turn the TV on. People, no matter how old you are, are talking about where BTC is going next. You know how many new investors is bringing on board? Got my phone going off of someone that's never really trusted Bitcoin or cryptocurrency before asking me how to buy it. And I'm gonna leave you guys there. I've broke down silver for you. I've broke down the history. I've broke down how important February is in BTC. And again, if I'm not actually gonna tell you what I think is actually gonna happen next. Again, my Telegram channel is in the bio, guys. It's free to join. Again, nearly at 14,000 members in just the past few weeks. If you guys wanna know my day in, day out views on cryptocurrency, gold, silver, anything, make sure you join, guys. See you in the next video.